so today what we're doing is a simple, simple fettuccine alfredo. Um, something you can do at home. Maybe not to this extent, but what you can do is you can buy um, alfredo sauce from Zares, like a Classico or a no-name brand. Very easy to uh, eat up instead of making this from scratch. Today I'll show you how to make it from scratch, how to properly boil the pasta, okay? You can use any type of pasta you want in this sauce. You can add any type of protein to this sauce, like uh, cooked chicken. Um, even, at, even at Zares, you can buy a whole cooked chicken, rip it apart, throw it into this sauce, okay? You can put uh, fresh mushrooms into this sauce. You can do frozen veg, which the veg you can place in your microwave, okay, for about three or four minutes. Cook it, and then throw it into this sauce, okay? So there's a lot of derivatives from this sauce that you can make. Um, you could even make a blush sauce with this sauce, okay, which is a tomato cream sauce, okay? Um, I add in basically Alfredo, and then a little bit of uh, like a ragu or a primo sauce, or whatever you get from the grocery store. So, first thing we're going to do when you're boiling pasta or cooking pasta, always bring your water to a boil. Do not try to cook pasta in cold water or warm water. The water needs to be boiling. You're going to put approximately for um, one portion of pasta, you use about three liters of water, a tablespoon of salt bring that to a boil, okay? With pasta, you cannot leave it on the stove and not stir it. Otherwise, it will become one big clump and just won't turn out properly. And another trick to cooking pasta is never taking off, if you're making a pasta salad, like a whole pasta salad, is not taking off the stove and rinsing it under cold water. The reason being is it takes the flavor out of the pasta Okay, so what you would do is take your pasta off, once it's cooked off the stove, strain it. That way you don't lose the flavor in the pasta. So with cooking pasta, you always put a little bit of salt and water to add flavor to the pasta. And then when you add it to your sauce, it gives you flavor. Okay? So we're going to make a simple Alfredo sauce today, simple cream sauce. Um, the only type of cream you can really use in the cream sauce is 35% whipping cream. The reason being, it will reduce. Okay, 18% cream or 10% cream or milk will not reduce down to make the sauce. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take our pan. We've got our water boiling already for our fettuccine. So we'll heat our pan up first. We're going to add a little bit of butter to it. And if you want to, if you're cooking spaghetti or fettuccine, it's kind of long, fit in the pot, okay? You can break it in half to fit inside the pot. This is a simple cooking method for any type of pasta. Any type of pasta, usually the directions are on the package. It can take approximately 8 to 10 minutes to cook. So the water is boiling now. I have nowhere to strain it off. I already have some fettuccine cooked. And I'll show you how to, how to check for how and when it's done, okay? I'm bad at this one. So you're going to give it a, approximately, approximately a minute to sit in the water and then give it a good stir, okay? If you don't stir your pasta, it'll stick all together. It's got a camera right there. So with this pan here, we're going to add a little bit of butter. Make sure your pan's nice and hot. If you have it too hot, it will burn your onions, and that's what you don't want to do. In an Alfredo sauce, you don't want to see the brown flecks of burnt onion or burnt garlic through your sauce. It has to be a nice white sauce. I'm going to add the onion. Then we have some white wine. Okay, add a lot of flavor to an Alfredo sauce. Usually you use a dry white wine for this, like a Chardonnay. And the best way to test for pasta when it's done, take a little piece out, stick it in your mouth, 
check it for dumbness, okay? If you're not quite sure. Because cooking times can vary on pasta. So when you glaze it now with white wine, and with the, when you're adding alcohol to, um, when you're making a sauce, the alcohol needs to be burned off, okay? Otherwise, it'll make your sauce way too strong. Um, if you're adding red wine to a gravy or whatever, you always burn off your alcohol first. The flavor will still be there, but it won't be as intense. So we'll let this reduce down. We'll add a little bit of garlic to it. The reason I didn't put the garlic in with the onions is the garlic will burn very quickly. So I'm going to put it in now with the wine.
So if you really want to be inventive um, with sauces, this sauce you can also add in, you can buy pastos. Anybody likes pesto? Uh, basil pesto or sun-dried tomato pesto can be added to, into the sauce to give it a lot of flavor. Depending on how you like your pasta cooks, a lot of people like their pasta a lot, but it's about three, three quarters of the way cooked. Um, so what I normally do is take a piece out, fry it, okay, it's the easiest way to test it. Some people say they throw it up, hit the ceiling, and if it sticks to the ceiling, it's cooked. It's nice and starchy, okay, but I don't suggest to do that, unless you want about a bunch of pasta stuff. And if you find, if you're going to make this sauce from scratch, you're a really good cook and you can make it from scratch. Um, if you find it reduces down too much and it starts to separate a little bit, you can always add a little bit more cream to it. Okay, it'll bring it right back. Like I said, you can make this into a blush sauce too, if anybody likes a blush sauce. Once this sauce is reduced down enough, add a little bit of tomato sauce to it. A nice creamy tomato sauce for pasta. I didn't bring any plates out, sir. Is there tickets coming up for this for, for to get served this meal? Even? She said she was going to be Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they can always have a protein and craft dinner if you want. Um, they can boil up their own macaroni at home and use that Alfredo sauce. Add a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese to it and make their own macaroni and cheese. Okay, very simple. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, you don't have to 
guys really do with alcohol, you don't want to do it, drink, you don't want to do you don't have to do it. I just did that because we believe that they give the sauce a little bit more flavor. You can use non alcoholic wine if you want. Um, you can buy them non alcoholic wine. Pardon? A gluten free pasta? Yes. Um, lactose free milk? I don't know whether it'll reduce down or not. I've never tried our soy milk. I don't know if it'll look the same as the cream milk. Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Yes, you can. Make a nice and strong flavor. You can add cheese, but add it in as well. You can add any type of vegetables you want, but what I suggest to do is pre-cook the vegetables first before you add it to the sauce. Because if you try sautéing the vegetables and then making your sauce, you're basically going to make your sauce really brown uh, and the sauce will look terrible. It really won't be a, a white sauce. Yeah. Sure, you can do that. You could add chilies to this. The garlic. Pardon? Would you do the same type as a garlic? Yeah. When you add the garlic in, you can add the horseradish. That's what you like to do. Um, when I was sautéing onions here, also when you're sautéing onions, if you like it really spicy, you can add in sliced up jalapenos or habanero peppers or crushed chilies to that sauce to make it a little bit spicier. Any other questions? Yeah. I don't know whether you can or not. I've never tried to cook with soy milk. Um, whether it'll reduce down, I don't know. Whether it'll reduce, reduce down like 35% uh, green stuff, you can try it. But it might separate. I'm not sure. 